There are many advantages to studying at Queen's. The curriculum is something that clearly the faculty has been putting together for a while and I think that it reflects a very positive philosophy towards medical education, um, turning us into the people that we need to be good doctors and not just people who know a lot of facts. The second great thing about Queen's is just the sense of community. Amongst the students there's a very warm sense of community that I think has really improved my ability to learn and my experience of med school so far. There's just a great relationship between the faculty and the students. They're very welcoming and open and that's not something I previously experienced. We're extremely fortunate at Queen's to have had the funding over the last few years to build an entirely uh, new building that's uh, meant specifically uh, for the medical school curriculum. The great thing about the new building is it's been purpose-built. And what I mean by that is it's been built to be pedagogically sound. So some of the features, uh, although there are, are still some classrooms, uh, the lion's share of the square footage is dedicated to small group learning space. There's an actual clinic in the new building where patients are actually going to come and be seen. Under supervision, of course, but where medical students will be a fundamental part of the learning team that looks after these patients. And probably the best new thing is a simulation laboratory. So over 7,000 square feet of our new building is dedicated to a simulation. The simulation laboratory is going to allow our students to see one, practice a thousand times, and then do one. So during that practice, it'll be okay to make mistakes. One of the biggest advantages of Queen's, I think, is the really tight relationship you can develop with your faculty. We do small group learning sessions and facilitated small group sessions where we have a professor actually, you know, coming in to a small group and leading us through a bunch of cases. We have clinical skills where it's just a group of 10 of us with two professors that are also, you know, doctors that are able to help us through learning how, you know, to do everything. But also there are so many just different connections that you have with people all through Queen's and through the, the Kingston Medical Community. I mean, we get so many opportunities to do observerships in first year, second year, really whenever you want. And um, I emailed the head of pathology a couple days ago just asking to meet with him. And he got back to me almost immediately and we met up to talk about pathology. And I just did an observership in that. So there's just so many opportunities to get out and find out more about what medicine really is and to really interact with faculty on a personal level. My favorite teaching moments are the aha moments. You know, when you've just spent, you know, a certain amount of time teaching a skill or, or some knowledge, and you can see the, that you know, questioning look in the student's face, and when they finally go, oh, I get it, that just gives me kind of goosebumps. It's, um, it's very rewarding, uh, and it's exciting when the students kind of have some excitement for what you also have excitement for. So uh, those are my, by far my favorite teaching moments. Kingston's a great city. It's beautiful. It's beautiful in the summertime. It's pretty nice in the winter too. Also, it's located in such a great spot. So you, you're close to Ottawa, you're close to Montreal, you're close to Toronto if you ever need to go there. But I find that you can pretty much find everything you need at Queen's and at Kingston. So everything's very close, tight-knit. You can go on Princess Street, do all your shopping, and then 10 minutes later, you're at school or you're at home. I love Queen's campus because it's just so beautiful. You have the limestone buildings, they have so much history, and you just walk through them and you feel like you're part of something so big and so grand that's been there for so long. And I just love how I come to campus and see everyone with their Queen's clothes and everything like that. You just feel at home. Here, basically, we have a, we have a mandatory one-week period where we have to go somewhere outside of the Kingston community and spend a week. And I went to Deep River up north town of 4,000 people. That was incredible. I got to do so much. I got to see so many things. I think it's memorable because it was the first time that I felt like, wow, I'm, I'm in medicine. I'm going to be able to do this. There's an official program that sets up about three or four uh, first year students with groups of three or four second year students and so on with a mentor, a faculty mentor. And um, these mentor groups would have dinners and, and have sessions where there's not only the faculty to the student relationship, but also the senior students to the junior students and kind of foster the relationship, kind of guide them through medical school. Um, so I think that's a, that's a real bonus uh, of the support system here at Queen's. I run a, a four-hour lab twice, so half the class does it in one session, the other half the class does it in the other session, and I sit with each group for a 10 or 15 minute period and I challenge them about what, what biology is occurring right in front of them. And every single time I do it, some student asks a brilliant question because a brilliant question is there's a gap in knowledge. I don't know this 
and I'm gonna ask you, and sometimes they ask about a gap in knowledge that nobody knows. And that's exciting, when you realize that a first year medical student can still ask you a question that says, I don't, I don't remember learning about that. Is that known? And the answer is, no it's not. That's a great question. We're challenged every day to really be active learners. And in turn, we get to hang out with some pretty amazing physicians and being able to learn from their experiences. But overall, I would say, from my experiences of people here at Queen's, is just incredibly, incredibly caring and incredibly passionate. And they're always willing to make that extra step and give you that extra five minutes just to make sure we understand it. And more than just the education, I think, it's primarily by the fact that they truly care about us. And that, in turn, inspires me to care more about my patients and my studies. There's some really marvelous people who choose to devote their careers to medicine. And uh, it's easy to forget that, I think, in the midst of a struggle to um, pick the people who are academically or personally or professionally geared to this job. Every once in a while you meet one that really has a, a spark and who knows where they get it whether it's from their experience or from their job or from their personal commitment to sharing with others. But it shows up in a bunch of different ways, even in medical school, the way they support their colleagues, the way they support their community and are, in, and are interested in what's going on in the community, the way they react to individual patients. I find myself in awe of their early demonstration of dedication, all that in the package of this intellectually curious and skilled individual. For the community that they choose to serve, they're going to be a wonderful asset. And so that's perhaps the most important part of why I like to teach, because I get to meet these spectacular individuals that are going to make a huge difference to a number of people.